presentation of TFNN. The Tom O'Brien Show is produced every business day. Tom takes your phone calls toll-free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Hey, Robert, how you doing, man? Yes, good, and thank you for taking my call. I wanted to Morning. let you know that I've been a subscriber for a couple of years, just different members of your team, and I really enjoy it. But really the reason I'm calling is to express my sincerest gratitude for you providing that information information yesterday on the small business grant. I'm a small business owner and primary breadwinner for my family. And if I can get that money, it's going to really mean a lot to my family. So that's awesome. thank you for uh, taking the time to do that. No, uh, well, listen, man, we appreciate you growling a problem with us. Now, Tom O'Brien. <laughs> Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week, we go seven hours a day, we go 24 hours a day in the internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about. Whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. Make it a great night and make it a great weekend, folks, because this is the last trading day of the week. Be impeccable with your word. Manifest your true intentions. Regardless of what language you speak, your intent will be manifested through the word. What you dream, what you feel, and what you really are will be manifested through what you say each and every day. Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials down seven, NASDAQ up 89, S&P's up 14. Gold, gold contract down $11.40 trading out of 20, 24 an ounce. We have silver up a penny at $25.05 an ounce. Light Sweet Crew down six cents, eighty dollars fifty-five cents a barrel. Notes and bonds, a ten-year note down two ticks, trading one sixteen sixteen. The thirty-year flat at one thirty-four oh two. And King Dollar, King Dollar, where are you? King Dollar, there you go. King Dollar trading flat, one oh one eight fifty-two. The euro is at one oh nine. The yen's at one thirty-one. The British pound is at one twenty-four to one U.S. dollar. Our phone number is eight seven seven nine two seven six six four eight. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world? In the world of the S&Ps, let's take a look at it. What do you have? Well, what you have out here, folks, is you have a rejection of lower price with lighter volume. That's setting up an ABC structure up. That's what it looks like. I mean, you know, my take is that we're going to go after this swing high of 418. And now the way this is set up, it's a nice setup for an ABC up. You can see your A point out here is uh, the 389. Your B point is... Up here at uh, 411, so 411.92, it's almost 412. One second, four, four, three. What did I just say? Yeah. There it is right there, actually. No, it's 393, you get seven, yeah, it's 17. So you get 22. Yeah, that's it, it's 422. And bottom line, that, that swing high is 418. You can see we're, we're pulling back tremendously lighter volume. You rejected 405.68 today. And that's that big bar, man. We never got to the bottom of that big bar from last Friday. Friday, that's a benchmark. There's no two ways about it. Friday's a benchmark. We go take a look at the NDX 100. It's the same type of setup inside the NDX. The, the thing with the NDX, which is intriguing, that the one-to-one -one ABC structure is 328. And you're at 318 now. Same type of setup, though. Bottom line, we get down to 312 today. You can see a rejected lower price. You're at 318. You're going to have lighter volume. You know, it's the B points on these... Structures are going to be pretty easy to take out, folks, because what we do have is that next week, you start off the week, I believe it's going to be Tuesday, 14th. What day is today? Well, BAC. The banks are going to start off the week, and more than likely, they're going to surprise us, I guess. <laughs> it would be really weird if they do. But anyway, these are ABCs. They're potential ABC structures on the way up. We got to take a look at the gold contract. Now, this is a confirmed ABC structure on the way up. We can take a look at the gold contract. Gold contract took out the B point. Plenty of volume uh, would have blew it away. Uh, that, that structure there is at 21.54. And you can see that even today, you're, you're pulling back. We're pulling back with 140,000 contracts going and, and we went to top side with 233,000 contracts. So I suspect that's going to Basically, you know, get moving up there. Notes and bonds. Now, the note and bond market, folks, is also setting up an ABC structure up. That'll blow some minds, man. 
because this is like, okay, you're at the top of the range right now. We're backing down off the top of the range, you know. And in one month, we had the 10-year, okay, go from 4% to 32 <laughs> That's pretty incredible, man. Four point, to be exact, it's 4.056 to 3.292. And that's that run right there. So we'll see, you know, the bottom line. We get back down with lighter volume. You're going sideways today, which would figure, you know, you get, get up. This is the, going into the holiday. But my take is that bonds have topped out. That the bottom line is that rates have topped out. And we're going to basically start going down in rates. And no matter what the Fed does, the, the, the market itself is taking the rates down. And what's going to get intriguing here is that what is going to happen with the dollar? Because the dollar is right where it came off the lows. When the dollar, the dollar first off made a low in January, that low was 100.82. It came off it with strength. And the bottom of that is 101.546. Now we're at 101.755, but what you had happen today, it couldn't hold price when it went higher. So this very well could be building cause to get to lower price. And if we break that low, your next level down on the dollar is getting you in the 100s. You know, so that'd be quite a move. You know, you can see the last low there was 100.820. And, you know, you break that and there's not much below it, you know, to basically, yeah, I'm, hey, we'll see, we'll see where this shakes out. But it's deviant, man. I mean, it's, it's deviant beyond belief. Some of the higher volume equities out here today, let's take a look at them. What, excuse me, folks, what you have here is Tesla is uh, down 80 cents. You get, uh, Oh, we're going to go to Google. So Google, you know, it, the Google CEO comes out and says, hey, well, our, our search engines are going to have AI in it, ASAP. Well, it was enough to get goose it today, that's for sure. You know, we're low is 104, we're at 108 right now, and that is what is putting juice into the NDX 100. If we take a look at the NDX 100, you get Google is the leader out there. Moderna is up 2.7%. Micron Tech's up 2.6%. Taken away from it, Airbnb is down 4.5%. You got uh, Costco down 2.5%. Uh, AMAT staff 2.5%. Inside the Dow Industrials, uh, let's go take a look at the strength versus the weakness. And the Dow is, is flat out here, but point wise, what do we have? Point wise, you get Microsoft putting 43 positive points. United Health uh, 16, Honeywell 6. Taken away from it, Caterpillar, minus 24, Visa, minus 19, Salesforce, minus 17, American Express, minus 15. So, and the volumes out here today, you know, on this pullback, which makes sense, but the bottom line, it rejected the lower price. It's really going to be low. And the NYSE, we're probably going to come in about 700 million, and that is low in a monster way. And on the composite, right now, we are at, oh, yeah, look at this, the composite. The composite is at 2.9. That composite, yeah, maybe we'll come in at $4 billion. Maybe they'll put a billion into it. Uh, that's low volume, folks, with a rejection of lower price. That's what we have. Stay right there, folks. We'll be coming back with our man, Mr. Tim Wood. We have the Dow Industrials down 29. NASDAQ is up 80. S&Ps are up 10. Stay right there, folks. We'll come right back. Currencies, commodities, and bond markets are as important as ever right now with how they're driving the volatility in equity markets across the globe, which is why it's a great time to try out Teddy Kegstat's Tiger Forex Report. Teddy Kegstat breaks down the Forex markets every Monday using his 30-plus years of experience as a trading veteran of futures, Forex, stocks, and options. Teddy releases his weekly Tiger Forex Report every Monday morning with coverage of all the major currency pairs, including the dollar index, the euro dollar, pound dollar, dollar Swiss, dollar yen, as well as many more, and he also has weekly coverage of the crude oil market and the 30-year T-bonds, as they both influence Forex markets tremendously. When you sign up for the Tiger Forex Report, you also gain instant access to Teddy's 60-minute webinar archive he just hosted, Forex Strategies and Fundamentals, What is Behind the Tiger Forex Report. For all the details and to start your 30-day Tiger Forex Report subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. Are you looking for a way to consistently add winning trades to your portfolio? Tom O'Brien is here to help. Tom O'Brien has been successfully trading markets for over 30 years. 
A frequent contributor to TD Ameritrade Network and CNBC, Tom O'Brien founded TFNN over 20 years ago to help educate investors just like you. Tom's daily market newsletter, Market Insights, is published every morning when the markets open to give you the competitive informational edge you need to succeed. These newsletters are packed full of Tom's advanced technical analysis and are geared to deliver comprehensive strategies for a successful portfolio. Get Tom O'Brien's newsletter, Market Insights, today and try all of our products and newsletters 30 days risk-free with our money-back guarantee at TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Welcome back, folks. The Dow. Dow Industrials right now down 36. NASDAQ is up 75. S&P is up 9.5. Let's go over to our man, Mr. Tim Ord. And, folks, you can find out and check out Tim at ord.oracle.com. Uh, Tim will be uh, on uh, this program uh, every Thursday at 20 past the hour. Uh, Tim, uh, welcome back to TFNN. Right. Long time. Been 20 years. I know, man. About. Is that crazy or what? Yeah, it's it's crazy, isn't it? Just like so, that. Perfect. Go ahead. Just like that. No doubt about it. It's pretty amazing, yeah. man. There's no doubt. I mean, um, I think the yeah. first time that I actually had you on was like 1996. <laughs> That's when we started. Yeah, yeah. Isn't that crazy? Well, I know. Yeah, I've been. Uh, I, I know. My mom died right around that 2003. I think that was right. Uh, somewhere in that time frame so right well anyhow we're back yes so, sir um, um so I what think, chart do you want to start three with charts. yes i have them up what okay uh we'll, we'll go through that weekly gdx we'll kind of look at the bigger picture first okay and, i have uh, it up right now uh, anyhow this is a weekly chart and it's, it's kind of a i came across this i've been screwing with it for a couple three years but anyhow it's gdx and it has AD, well, if you look at the top or the, um, uh, how to begin here, let's see. Well, anyhow, we'll start with the bottom window as a weekly chart of the GDX up down volume percent. Okay. And, what I, and the next window up is the GDX advanced decline percent. Yes. So you got, you got an up down volume indicator, then you got an advanced decline indicator, both for GDX. And this is on a weekly time frame. Then I took a cumulative, um, cumulative of both those up, down volume, and advanced client indicators. Okay. And so that's what you see there. And I put a Bollinger Band on top of that. Yep. So uh, every time uh, this, this chart goes back only uh, to around 2010, because that's that's as far as back those two indicators uh, went. So they're not. I couldn't get them to go back any further because I didn't have the information to do it. Yes. But it works really well on the bigger time frames. If you notice in that 2012 top, it, it, it fell through the mid-Bollinger Band on the weekly time frame and pretty much stayed below the mid-Bollinger Band all the way into about 2016. Look at that. Yeah, I uh, see that. Yeah, that was, that was a four-year sell signal. Right. And... Um, and it worked pretty well. Then it gave a buy signal. It looks like about you know early 2016. Yep. 
and it stayed on that buy signal pretty much for a year and a half. And that was a good run. Then, yeah, that was a good run. Yeah, right. Yeah, it got that big move up and everything. Uh, so now there's this. When both indicators close above the mid Bollinger Bands on a buy signal, when it closes below the mid Bollinger Bands, it's a sell signal. Nice. Got a little I... bit, uh, a little bit messy in 2017. It kind of hovered around the mid Bollinger Band, uh, kind of warned you like the uptrend was was you know failing there. But yeah. finally, uh, it was kind of a messy signal. Anyhow, in general, it moved down for another year and a half. Then in 2019. Uh, it it broke above the uh, both the mid Bollinger Band and stayed on that buy signal for a year and a half. Yep. And uh, then back in 2021, looks like January or so, it fell below the Bollinger Band and pretty much stayed below that Bollinger Band until now. Right. And and it's been two years in that decline. So basically, it, it's. Uh, if it kind of matches what the previous signals are, you're probably looking at a year and a half of rally here. Right. It just on, take on average of, you know, maybe two years. Uh, but uh, this type of indicator doesn't get whip or dead. Once it gets on a buy or sell signal, it stays there pretty much. I mean, yeah, I know, which is pretty cool. I can, I can see that. I can see that. Yeah, yeah. definitely. Yeah. So I'm thinking this is probably uh, on a buy signal that may last over the next week. I got some other indicators kind of saying that as something similar to this, but this bicycle may last. Uh, you know, it gets pretty much keep a bicycle right pretty much in this time frame in March, and this bicycle may persist for the next year and a half. Uh, so it'll be kind of interesting to see if that turns out to be the case. But as long as both indicators on the weekly time frame are above the mid Bollinger band. The bicycle's in force, and that's what's happening right now. And that's pretty cool uh, because, so. you know, it's only 25% off its all-time high from that run in 2020. So that could be a nice run, man. Cool. Okay. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. All right. Okay. All right. Let's flip to the – now we're going to flip to the next uh, – Okay. Um, I have indicator, it. And it's a uh, – it's this is a GDX again, This uh, and it's the – the bottom window is the GDX daily advanced decline percent. Yeah, and that's just what it is. And next, uh, it's an 18 day average of the uh, advanced decline percent. The next window up from the bottom is GDX up down volume with 18 day average. And the top window is GDX. Okay. And what happens here is when the 18 day average of the advanced decline and up down volume both get above 40, uh, then that's a, what I call a, a surge pattern happens. And the red lines show the times when this has happened. It doesn't happen every year. Um, it did happen once in 2021. Uh, it happened a couple of times in 2020, once in 2019, once in uh, 2016. But it just happened here on April 4th. Uh, April 4th, the advanced decline indicator, uh, uh, yeah, April 4th closed at 45.98. And on the up down volume that closed at forty two thirty six, so it's well above the forty range, almost similar to what happened in two thousand sixteen. So even though this market's overbought, uh, what this indicator suggests that the run's going to continue. So nobody's really expecting that. You know, oh, it's overbought. We got to sell everything. Well, this indicator just flipped to a surge pattern just two days ago. Right. So in general, you will see some uh, maybe three or four down days, but in general, it's probably going to look something like 2016 uh, yeah. or 2019. And we know that market markets season. can stay overbought for quite some time, Tim, right? Say what? That markets can stay overbought for quite some time. Right. That's what happens in bull markets, you know. And, you know, we've been really kind of a sloppy market, I mean, over the last, uh, since 2020. I mean, it went up, went down, went sideways, broke right. below some previous lows that shouldn't have broke through. It did, came back up again. Uh, so now I, I'm thinking this is going to be a pretty much of a steady uh, rally. I'd love to have this indicator all the way back to 2000. I wish I could have seen what happened back then. But 2000, from 2000, 
which was with the bottom in the GDX and gold market and rallied all the way to 2012, you know, went up for basically 12, well, it did go up for 12 years. I, I know, you know, maybe we're due for another type of 2000 rally again. I don't know. But this rally, uh, according to these two indicators, one suggests that we got another year and a half to go. This rally here has probably got several weeks, if not months, to go. Yeah. Uh, so it's, we're kind of sitting at an unusual time here, how far things are going to go. Okay, so just, just stay, just stay there for a second, Tim. We've got a short break, and we're going to bring you back. And you know what's interesting, Tim, about that GDX? See, the GDX wasn't trading. It was, it was a new ETF. That's what's going on there. So there, there's, there is no info. Stay right there, folks. Tim and I are coming right back. If you want to take advantage of this sector, now is the time to subscribe to my Gold Report. The Gold Report is a comprehensive look at the metal sector as well as the markets that move gold, which is the currency and bond markets. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to lose. Every Monday morning, I publish the Gold Report with coverage of gold, silver, bonds, the XAU, HUI, GDX, as well as more than 30 different mining equities. To see for yourself the types of profitable trades that are recommended within the Gold Report, sign up now by visiting TFNN.com. Don't miss out on the next great gold trade. Sign up today. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. TFNN has just launched their new trading room, The Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. And now they are expanding their reach with The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. In The Tiger's Den, you can look over the shoulders of Tom O'Brien and the other TFNN hosts while they analyze charts during their live Tiger TV programs and join an interactive trading community with hundreds of members exchanging ideas. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day, even at night and on the weekends. The Tiger's Den at Discord is accessible on mobile or tablets as well, so it's always at your reach. To sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders, just visit the front page of TF. TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow Industrials right now down 28. You get the NASDAQ up 86. S&Ps are up 12. We're talking about our man, Mr. Tim Ord. And you can get hold of Tim, folks, at ord.oracle.com. And we are going over right now the uh, the GDX chart. Um, yeah, so Tim, that you know, you have all the data. What happened is that this this ETF only started trading May twenty second of two thousand and six. That's why you can't go back to two thousand. Oh, okay. All right. Yeah, I wish we could. I, I know that indicator. I know. But, okay, yeah. so uh, go ahead. Uh, but anyhow, it, it, it's. It's something unusually going on in here. So, you know, if, if, I, I, I don't know how much that time we had, so I sent, sent, sent over three charts. But I've been watching the uh, GDX to GLD ratio, or GDX uh, to gold ratio. Uh, is, and, is that the top of the second chart, Tim? Or do you want me to go to the third? Well, no, actually, it's, it's, I don't have that chart. Well, we, we, can, we can flip to the last chart you want just to cover the S&Ps real quick. 
Oh, we got um, plenty of time. We got seven, eight minutes left, so we can wherever you want to go, we can do. All right, we'll, we'll go to that third chart. Okay, there we go. Um, it's, yeah. Listen to this one, anyhow, folks. It, go ahead. <laughs> no, I'm just saying. Listen to this one. I already looked at it. I like it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you know, it's a monthly chart of the SPYs, and uh, I have a Fibonacci relationship uh, on that, drawn on that, but uh, I didn't show where it came from. That that Fibonacci relationship comes from the. March 2020 low. Okay. And we didn't quite get to a 50% retracement, so I just wanted to point that out. But the pattern in there that, that I'm seeing is a head and shoulders bottom. And if you look at the March, um, my, my opinion is a sign of strength, your volume guy, so am I. Yeah. And we busted through that trend line on a closing basis. Uh, so, in my opinion, we had a sign of strength through a neckline. And if you do the measurement, of this head and shoulders bottom that has the target, you know, you take the bottom of the head and you, and you measure up to the neckline. You do that measurement, you come back to the 470 area. Well, the 470 area happens to be the uh, January high of 2022. So yep. I'm thinking in general, that's where we're going to go this year. Nobody's um, really bullish here at all, but market wants to go up. And if you look at the bottom window there, it's just a simple momentum indicator which is a monthly slow stochastic yes and it turned back up in november and it's still trending up so the monthly charts are up so what a um, mind blower that would be huh <laughs> yeah yeah so nobody you know really nobody's bullish out there but you know if we had a science strength through the neckline of the head and shoulders bottom i mean you got to assume you know it's you know, I guess the quacks and it's waddles is the duck. So, you know, if it's a, it's a head and shoulders and it has science rings through the neckline, it's a head and shoulders. So I think in general we're going to work higher here. I don't have it shown here, but I do a, a lot of stuff with panning. And panning's a really good thing to, for a bull market to have. If you don't have panic, um, then you, you don't really have energy for the rise. Yes. And all through that that sideways pattern starting last May going into basically March, I have a different graph showing what the trend did all in that time frame over, you know, basically 10 months. Right. There's a lot of uh, trend readings all through that area, uh, all above like 1.2, I call anything but 1.2, a panic situation. And there's tons of, um, panic readings in the trend all on that level. And if you do a 100-day trend uh, analysis or even a 63-day trend, which is a three-month uh, time frame, you, you have readings over 1.2 all in that time frame. So what I'm saying is you got enough energy, in other words, not enough panic in the market to drive this uh, potential um, um, head and shoulders bottom higher. Because panic, if you don't have panic, you don't have energy. And so I'm, I'm thinking we, we, the sideways market since last May has enough panic in it to drive the market higher, according to uh, the panic rings. I do some stuff with the VIX too, and it's, it's kind of sure. And I'm going to show time, them. We'll show some they, of that. So. I'm going to show them what you were looking at here because this is cool, man. You know, you can see, folks. He was talking about the lows of 2020 going all the way up, and we did. I, I took the maybe I took the wrong. I, I took the low of March 2020, Tim to the low and it was exactly a 50 percent retracement which is crazy and the spy the the the, right. the 348 you know it's like a 50 percent retracement and it was going to get so interesting here you know when you have inflation i mean i i know it's it, it does sound bizarre that you can go back to the highs but if inflation keeps going it just means you have a higher number it doesn't mean that we can buy more with it you know so this right. all this always gets right. intriguing remember i mean i remember we, we were still doing business when Zimbabwe was going like <laughs> to 13, 14, 26,000. Remember? I mean, it was like, okay, hold it. You know, this is insane, okay? But the bottom line is that their money wasn't worth anything at the end of the route, also. So, you know, yeah. Right. It's, uh, it's really, you know, if you go, go back to that Fibonacci retracement on the SPYs here. Yes. You know, if it went down to 61%. Which it didn't, but if it did, the the best it could do is get back to the old highs. Right. According to that's what I learned. If it goes down to fifty percent, 
at least goes back to the old highs, if not mark the halfway point of the next move up. Right. So if you do the halfway point of the next move up, you come up with SPY around 600. Now, everybody will kind of laugh about that and how crazy I am for saying that. <laughs> but, you know, time will tell. Time know? will tell, time man. Will tell. I, and, you know, uh, it's the same. I'm looking at this bond market, Tim, and, you know, I mean, uh, there's no doubt, I, you know, I've been a bear on the way down, but when this bond market start turning, I'm saying to myself, my take is that the rates look to me, you know, with that banking crisis, we you know, came in hard, and it's like, okay, it looks to me like the rates have turned. I mean, we just went from 4% on the 10-year to 3.2 and 21 trading days. That's unbelievable. I mean, so it's like, okay, if rates are going down, then more than likely that means the dollar is going lower. I can see gold going higher. If the dollar is going lower, well, I can see the spy going higher because yeah. that's, that's the, that correlation yeah. is in. Do you know what I mean? So pretty wild, yeah. man. Yeah. Yeah, it's pretty wild. There's another thing, too. This is a pre-election year. Yes. And historically, uh, the pre-election year, in other words, next year is the, the election, obviously. Okay. But, uh, the pre-election year uh, has a 94% of being higher. Is that right? So, wow. Yeah, okay. That's right. According to going back to 1950. Yep. So that's a real interesting. So you, what what that says to me, the government is going to try to keep this market up. Yes. You know, at least sideways. Right. Um, you know, after the election, you might see something different. But, you know, this market is probably going to be halfway stable, probably going into the election. Okay. So, so well, it may go sideways here. I don't know. Maybe hit the highs of 470 on the SPYs, you know, uh, and uh, build some sort of a trading range, and uh, that's a possibility. But in my opinion, at least over the next several months, I think possibly in July, um, maybe August, we will at least see 470. Then from there, I don't know, you know, because he, he got, you know, seasonality. Hey, we'll take we'll take four seventy. We'll take we'll take four seventy. We'll take gold going up for a year and a half, right? <laughs> yeah, it is <laughs> totally. It, 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 We'll, we'll talk a year from now, a year and a half from now, and there'll be some, you know, great investments. You know, this gold market's been dead for a while. It, yep, exactly. And but it, when it, it runs, it, we both know when something. it runs, it's a beautiful thing. Yeah. Yeah. Well, listen, Tim, so. thank you so much. We look forward to talking to you next Thursday. And, folks, you can get hold of Tim at ord-oracle.com. Tim, you have a great uh, Easter, safe Easter, and we'll talk to you next Thursday. All right, sounds good. Thanks so much. Bye. Stay right there, folks. We'll come right back. If you're looking for potential trading setups in the stock market, then Rocket Equities and Options Report is a newsletter you should try. Tommy O'Brien delivers options and equity trades when the markets present them using a combination of fundamentals and technicals. Sign up for Rocket Equities and Options Report today with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today.
An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor for Side Fund Services, LLC. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. I'm O'Brien. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow Industrial is down 39. NASDAQ is up 88. S&Ps are up 11 and a half. And, you know, you talk about uh, time. You know, we, we know uh, that time goes so fast. And, you know, I... I I say quite a bit, yesterday's gone, tomorrow's not here, what are you doing right now? You know, because of the fact that um, Tim and I, uh, we traded a lot together. Um, and that was starting, oh my God, it was not, I think it was 96. Um, and when I was talking to him, the, the last time I actually saw him, he was staying at my house, and I think Tommy was in high school. <laughs> and Tommy's 43 now. <laughs> <laughs> Crazy, man. But, you know, you can see that update. This is going to get intriguing. I mean, you know, he has a lot of good tools in his box. So, um, bottom line, we'll see how this whole baby shakes out. Uh, let's go take, well, hey, Google. Let's go take it. So, Google, you know, they're out there rapping today uh, in, the, in the context of um, their search bar that, uh, let's see exactly what he's saying. How is he saying this? Okay, he's saying, this is the CEO, Google plans to add conversational artificial intelligence features to its flagship search engine. Chief Executive Officer said he steers, uh, as he steers the tech company's response to competition from chatbots, uh, particularly Microsoft, okay? Um, advances in AI would supercharge Google's ability to answer an array of search queries um, the CEO said in a Wall Street Journal interview, he dismissed the notion that chatbots pose the threat to Google's search business, which accounts for more than half of the revenue of Alphabet. Um, it, it, well, you know, it's going to be interesting here, folks, right? If you haven't used ChatGBT yet, you should go try it. Because this is what the difference is. The difference is, is that you can interact with it um, on very um, intense subjects, meaning science, biology, I mean, you name it, you can interact with it. So it's not like a search engine like Google now, you know, you just put, you know, what is this and it, it comes out. What happens with ChatGBT, which I'm sure is going to be happening with, they're going to call this Chat AI inside the, the Google deal. Um, you'd be really surprised what it can come up with. And then the follow-up questions that you can ask, uh, you're going to be amazed, uh, you know, of you know, basically what conversationally comes out of it and it comes out of it very quickly. You know, so I suspect they're all going to be out there like that. The real question is going to be, um, you know, who, like, see, I can't picture now, even though I've always used Chrome and Google, I can't picture myself, well, when they come out with it, I'll test drive it, but I can't picture myself going there because... Now, on my desktop, I have ChatGPT, and I use it all the time. You know, when I want to, really want to know something, and, and more so than, you know, I don't want to, you know, where's the restaurant? I'm not using it for that. But p any particular things that you really want to understand how they work, meaning, you know, whether I, I ask them a lot of, you know, intricate questions um, in math and a few other things. And, 
and they pop up, man, and it's really cool. It's, it's like it, it blows your mind um, because it comes back to you on a common sense deal, too. That's, that's, that's what I got out of it more than anything. It comes back in a common sense deal that, okay, this is how this works. If you have this and this, this is the relationship inside it. You know, so it's a brave new world out there inside of that. There's no two ways about it, though. And I can't, you know, it, it's, it's going to be one of those things. And if I learned anything, so check this out. You know, the, if you actually go back in time, um, my first office was in Harvard Square. And Harvard in particular, more than MIT, well, I don't know if it's more than MIT, but I'll tell you, I, I, I I used to sneak into the uh, um, classes at Harvard all the time, okay? And now uh, this is 1980. And when I caught on to it, it was like, this is, um, this, is so, this is unbelievable. So I'd walk down the street, and the class was going on. I'd, I'd see what class was going on. And, you know, there was, it wasn't like it is today. You walk right in. The first thing that I didn't realize that they had, like, these big auditoriums. You know, you, there wasn't, like, 20 people in there. It was, like, 200, 300 people. And I'd sit through the classes that I wanted and get what I wanted out of them. And what I found more than anything is that what a lot of that teaching was, was where to find everything. That's, that's where that whole deal, that's what was going on there. Then I went to night school at MIT. And I went to night school at MIT specifically for real estate. Um, and that, that totally was different. There's no doubt about that. That was totally mechanical, you know. Um, meaning you need to understand, you know, if this happened, this happened, if this happened, if this happened. Um, but now when I look at, you know, the chat GBT, I'm saying to myself, that's the same thing. What, what, you, what you're doing is that you're going somewhere that you're saying, okay, where is this answer? And then, you know, is this the answer? You know, so I can see, you know, how productivity can go up pretty dramatically. That's, that is for sure. I mean, there's no doubt, because if you haven't tried it, you got to try it, because it, it blows your mind. I mean, and forget about marketing. Marketing purposes, um, you know, writing books. I mean, you, you can be able to write books and newsletters and all of this in about two seconds. I mean, it's just it's unbelievable, actually. You know what I mean? So it's, it's going to be intriguing to see exactly how fast it comes out and how they integrate it into Google. Like, the, the market out here today is digging that... You know, he has come out, the Google CEO has come out and, you know, said that, okay, we're going to get this up quicker than the, than the market itself thought. Because Google, you know, has been, it, you know, basically been down, you know, further than, let's see. So the high in Google is 151. Yeah, and you, you, you hit, hit a low of uh, 83. And if we take this and put... Yeah, so like Google did a 618. So that's saying with Google, you know, we brought up the spy. The spy saying that, you know, guess what? It can go to its high. It can break its high. Google is saying that, no, oh, see, look at the buying in Google. See, they're buying Google. See this? Look at these two last two months. Huge. 754 million and 726. They're buying Google. That's, and it looks like Google hasn't even moved that far. And it hasn't. It's been from 88 to 108. But... That, you see that those spikes up with buying, that's a big number, man. So, and Microsoft, uh, it looks like to me, you know, Microsoft's been a powerhouse anyway. And Microsoft is just getting stronger and stronger and stronger. Because what you have with Microsoft is that you not only have all the services they already have. Um, yeah, Microsoft took a, took a swing out with volume on the weeklies. So that Microsoft highs 339 or 291. And now on top of that, if they can ever get their search going, man, forget it. Yeah, big time. 877-927-6648, kicking into the uh, Passover, Easter holiday, folks. Uh, you have the Dow down 29, NASDAQ's up 92, S&Ps are up uh, 13. You have gold, the back and down, light volume on the back down, though. Uh, dollar, where's that dollar? Dollar was flat last time we looked at it. Dollars up 44 ticks right now. Stay right there, folks. Come right back.
Are you looking for a way to consistently add winning trades to your portfolio? Tom O'Brien is here to help. Tom O'Brien has been successfully trading markets for over 30 years. A frequent contributor to TD Ameritrade Network and CNBC, Tom O'Brien founded TFNN over 20 years ago to help educate investors just like you. Tom's daily market newsletter, Market Insights, is published every morning when the markets open to give you the competitive informational edge you need to succeed. These newsletters are packed full of Tom's advanced technical analysis and are geared to deliver comprehensive strategies for a successful portfolio. Get Tom O'Brien's newsletter, Market Insights, today and try all of our products and newsletters 30 days risk-free with our money-back guarantee at TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Welcome back, folks. Dow is down 29, NASDAQ's up 80, S&Ps are up 11. Let's go to our man Jose in Lakeland. Jose, what's going on, brother? Hey, Tom, I know you're pressed for time. Hey, my condolences to your friend and crew member. Uh, yes, um, David. Yeah. Dave, yes. Thank you. Yes. Thank you very much. Um, I, I, I would walk around telling people, I love when he says, sell when you sell when you um, can, not, not when, when you, you have, have to. to. I would walk around telling that's a people fact. that. <laughs> yeah. That's going to that's going to be out here forever, which is a beautiful thing. I know. Yeah. Um, so, Tom, any changes in inventory from foreclosures or home prices? What's your quick read on the tea leaves with uh, is everything going according to plan? Prices getting crushed or not so much? They're not. It, what Jose's talking They're, about, he's asking me a question on real estate, folks, okay? Best fit and I were just talking about this a little while ago. You know, I, I said the best fit. I'm still nervous, man, but the bottom line is that we're selling a lot of product, man. As soon as we put them up. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, so it's even even at these rates, there's a lot of money that's still out there, which is a mind blower, man. It is. It's just like, wow. You know, now okay. they're, they're, well, the prices have come down. I mean, in the in, the, in St. Petersburg, folks, Northeast is the most expensive. The prices have been backing off the Northeast. But I'm talking, you're talking about backing off small amounts. Most of those houses are two point three million, two point five. So they go to. If it's 2.5, it's going to 2.45. That's it. It's not, you know, 50 right. grand is coming That's off. That's right. So, so Tom, uh, any pivot the Fed's got in mind in the in the next six, that that should help price home prices. Yeah, it will. 
No, I, I, listen, man, I think we peaked out on, on rates myself. I think we did. Wow. Okay. Yeah, I know. It's a wow. It's crazy. That's, but, and, and that's what it is. And listen, we had a banking crisis. If they kept going up on rates, that's going to nail the banks. The bank's balance sheets have already got repaired the last 24 days. You know, maybe they'll go up a quarter percent. But my, my, the, the market itself has already talked. The market, the high was four on the 10. And that was 21 trading days ago. Now we're 3.2. That's percentage wise. That's unbelievable. Yeah. Have a great deal. Easter, Thanks man. So always remember, folks, the bank can claw your heart out. The bull can run you over. And thank God, you know, there's always another trade. Have a great weekend, safe weekend. Happy Passover, happy Easter. Come back and visit Tommy Monday morning. Markets are closed tomorrow. Yeah, we'll get them, folks. Bill